Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a very cool, very unusual and rare 1934 Ford Roadster Pickup Australian Ute to show you. Australian Ute is a utility vehicle, and this car was uh, built by Ford for the Australian market in 1934. And in about 1978, it came back in here to the United States into Portland and a physician purchased it and brought it over and he had it for about 20 years and just didn't really do much with it and he sold it to another man who has done a fairly extensive restoration on it done some nice updates for it it's very cool I'm going to take you around show you the truck show you some of its fine attributes now he decided to finish it off in this uh, PPG paint color called hot chocolate and this kind of golden tan color you can kind of see some depth there and some uh, metallic in the paint. Very nice. Got the hood, uh, the hood skirts here that uh, allow for heat dissipation, which is nice because this engine's been upgraded from the original. I'm going to show you that here in a little bit. Uh, wheels and tires, uh, traditional spokes from that era. Uh, with the little derby cap uh, V8 on there and the trim ring and some nice uh, Goodyear radials all around uh, This is an all-metal truck. I should point that out. These are not fiberglass. These are metal You know the the uh, fenders and running boards and so forth So very nice Taking the interior here now the interior of course that's all been uh, completely restored as well, but it's been upgraded to these buffalo hides in this nice uh, camel tan color with seat belts. Uh, the door panels, also buffalo hides with uh, quilted maple uh, inlaid in the door panels. Very nice dash. Camel colored carpeting. Uh, the top is a canvas style, of course. It's got this light chocolate. Instead of hot chocolate, this might be hot chocolate with uh, marshmallows all dissolved in it. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But at any rate, very nice top. Looks new. It's great. All the chrome and, and trim and so forth around the windshield is nice. You got this uh, Oregon white oak appointments for the top mechanism. Top just lays back like uh, any other convertible top, if you want the top down. Uh, this truck would not have had windows, it would have had side curtains, which are just, you know, kind of like uh, clear plastic, and I don't have those, those don't exist, and, but someone could have them made, and there's provisions for them if someone wanted to do that. You can kind of see that the, you know, the alignment and so forth is very nice on the truck. Running boards are nice, again, all metal. Now the bed, uh, this is, you know, part of the uh, part of the, a lot of the difference between an American truck and the Australian truck. Uh, they had this type of bed. Now, it would have originally been wood like this, but this particular bed was cultivated, harvested, finished, milled, and treated uh, here in Oregon by the owner of the truck. He did all of that work for this bed, and so what you've got here is you've got Oregon white oak planking. And then you've got some of this quilted maple. So this bed is certainly uh, prettier than it would have been original, originally. Uh, you know, you can see all that back here. It's very nice. Oh, by the way, that's a glass uh, window for the top. But, you know, they, it, the Australian Ute had these benches up here that uh, I guess people could sit along here. You could use this for a, you know, take people on a... October hayride, you know, around the, uh, uh, or a parade, or, you know, uh, Halloween, call those uh, corn mazes and so forth. Pretty cool. The tailgate uh, utilizes these original style clasps, and the tailgate does fold down. Very nice. Your chrome back here is excellent as well. The, the tail lights, the bumpers, got a nice dual exhaust system there. Let me take a moment to tell you about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com. 
uh, where I've got, of course, pictures of the truck and a text ad that kind of hits the highlights as well, but uh, I've got pictures of the undercarriage of this truck. That's important, and it's very nice under there. All restored, completely rebuilt, original frame with some uh, tubing supporting, uh, you know, of course it's got a V8 engine now and a little heavier duty transmission and so forth, so you've got a very nice boxed frame under there and you've got a suspension uh, that's uh, tubular suspension, independent, very nice, drives nice and easy, that makes it you know more updated, more fun to drive, more enjoyable to drive. Uh, differential uh, is a Ford 8 inch differential, so you've got a complete uh, drivetrain that's Ford, uh, all new everything, shocks, suspension, uh, components, everything. The brakes are uh, Willwood uh, four-wheel disc brakes, so I mean, you don't really need four-wheel discs on a truck of this size, so you know that they, they work great, nice and true, stop nice and true. Uh, the engine is a uh, 302 out of a 1995 Mustang GT, and of course that would have been originally a fuel-injected engine, it's now carbureted. Uh, the, the transmission is a Ford 3-speed automatic and it's floor shifted and again we talked about the differential so you've got a very nice nice drivetrain very strong and very capable to move this truck around. All the fasteners very nice and clean here as you can see used nice components that's your fuel filler side as well. A steering wheel, uh, banjo style, you know, with this nice uh, wood here, so that complements the truck as well. A little bit darker than the maple. And then of course you've got these uh, newer gauges, uh, GPS uh, speedometer, uh, of course, you got tachometer in there and all the traditional gauges and so forth. Works out nicely, easy to read, easy to see. Turn signals. Uh, truck is completely street legal. Door closes nice. Probably get a little better idea how clean the, the uh, running board is there. It's in the sun, you can see it sparkle there. Well, you can see uh, it's got a sticker from Queensland, Australia, 1978. He left that on there. Pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. Kind of, you know, gives a little more of the history of the of the the truck. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The spare, which it carried the spare here, and you'll notice the spare is pretty worn. But this is actually an original spare from this truck back in the 30s. He just decided to keep it. It's a decorative piece, you know. Uh, looks nice. You wouldn't want to use it, of course, but. Anyway, I think it looks good on there. Let me show you the engine. This little uh, 302, it's also very nice, very clean. Uh, finned aluminum valve covers. Updated, you know, newer Edelbrock style carburetor. We've got electronic ignition. Look how clean this firewall is. Finish that off nicely. Polished aluminum manifold. All the original style welting here. Put that back on. Jet coated headers. That's just set up the way you want, you know. Close that. Up front, nice big Ford original headlights. You're running lights and turn signals there. Nice Ford, Ford grill, 34 Ford grill, uh, chrome surround. And the bumper, of course, up here is nice, and the bracketry is all nice and painted. You might be able to see a little bit of the suspension there, but I uh, recommend if you like the truck, you're interested in the truck, go to the website. You'll be able to see it a lot better. I wanted to show you the other side of the engine just so you, just so you can see it. Um, 
hood actually opens and closes very nicely. I've uh, had several of these and not all of them close so easy, but on this side, of course, you've got your nice polished alternator. Again, nice firewall and everything. Everything was done very well. All steel lines and steel uh, braided steel uh, brake lines as well. Really need to check out the undercarriage shots of this. It's very nice, very well done. So what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the truck, I'll start it, here it start. I'll just drive around the parking lot a little bit, just real nice and slow so you kind of get a sense of what it looks like moving under its own power. I should mention to you that sound that you're hearing, uh, that constant sound, that's, uh, I should have told you, it has an electric fuel pump. So that's a nice feature too. You know, really updated. So it, it always starts in the morning uh, very easily, even uh, if you haven't started it in some time, you know, with that electric fuel pump and so forth, tuned very nicely, it runs very well. Uh, fun to drive, a kick to drive, very unusual. But if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1934 Ford Australian Ute, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763 and thank you for watching today.